just after seven and we're, it's our morning dog walk up on the moors and we're on our way back you can tell we're on our way back because the dogs are in front of me there's the other one there she is and on the way there i'm practically dragging them <laughs> i think they'd much prefer to stay in the warp house or just louis chase the ball up and down the garden but um everything's going great we're loving living up here um we're obviously in lockdown at the moment but uh, doesn't really make any difference to us because uh, there's not many people around here <laughs> um we've been to the local town which is pickering to get shopping which is about 10 miles away from here which is fine and uh life's great we're doing some work on the cottage bit by bit but keep getting distracted by uh, <laughs> this glorious weather we've been having recently so it's a case of uh, do you pick up the DIY job list or do you uh, get out with the dogs or out on your mountain bike? Come on, Rose. <laughs> Let's look posh in her outfit. That's a cheap jacket from Pets at Home. And that harness we actually got second hand off eBay. We wouldn't have bought it because she's growing that quick. It was only cheap off eBay and it's like new. It's an extra, extra small. With um, roof wear harness, the same as what Louis uses. So she's got that one at the moment, but I would imagine in a few weeks' time that will fit her again. And if you'll be looking for a bigger one, they reckon that whippets by the age of about 25 weeks get to about the maximum size. So we'll know what size she's going to be. She's obviously going to be smaller than Louis. It's all about timing, Rosie. <laughs> Come on, Luke. And Louis and Rosie are getting on great. She's been through various phases. She's been through the teething phase where she wants to chew everything and everybody, including Louis. But uh, and then they've been through the play fighting stage every five minutes. Oh, perfectly on cue. But she's stopped doing this as much now. And Louis keeps telling her off. Not aggressively, but uh, he, uh, if he doesn't like something, he lets her know. Go, on, Luke. Come on. And she is just absolutely remarkable. Every time I get the camera out though, she thinks it's a toy and wants to eat it. Don't you? Mm -hmm. I think it helps having another dog, having a puppy. She's definitely learning from Louie. Not all the good things. She's definitely learned that he can eat sheep poo or horse poo. Come on! <laughs> but apart from that, he's teaching her well. I'm sure it's not, not down to my skills. And I think she's just remarkably intelligent as well. Hey Rose, hey? Yes, you. <laughs> it's Friday, second day of lockdown. But thankfully, we live close enough to this beach. And as you can see, there's very few people around, just a few more locals. And of course, it's a dog friendly beach. I thought I'd do an update video, um, mainly about lessons learned of having a whippet puppy. Just let me throw the ball. Here we go. And I suppose the first thing I need to say is, I don't know if it's just rosy, but it's been remarkably easy. Remarkably easy. She was basically toilet trained in the first day. She learnt a name within two days. She understood what no meant and she'd stop doing things if you shouted no. A recall's good, and off a lead, she'll just walk by the side of me. Now, I don't know if this is all down to my fantastic dog training, <laughs> which I don't think it is. And I've, as I said before, I've never had a puppy before. But I don't know, some of it must be down to Louie, learning off Louie. But she's just so intelligent, so bright, and she picks things up straight away. And you see all these videos and these, uh, books and things telling you use treats and encourage them with food and things like that i haven't really done any of that she just picks things up so easily she's remarkable and the other thing is that uh, the other thing i've really learned is that she grows so incredibly quick Looking up at 
got a tree, I remember how it started. I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said, and open a rose. I've already found some light, the feeling grows. And anything sounds alright, I'm breaking. She's into her 14th week now, but her growth rate is amazing. I think they get to 24 weeks and they come to about the full size. So they get on well together. Are you ready? But she's just already at 14 weeks, coming up to 15 weeks. A beautiful, lovely little dog. So, I don't know if it's uh, we've just been lucky with this particular one or whippets are particularly bright when there are puppies and they're laying quick but she's just been remarkably good and uh, relating back to saying that um, they grow quick quite a few people have asked me what harness to get what coat to get, what collar to get what I would say is don't spend a lot of money because in no time at all they'll grow out of it Wait till they get to 24, 25 weeks and they'll roughly be about the same size from there onwards and you can get something that'll fit them. And take them to the pet shop if you can, you can't do it for a lockdown, but take them to the pet shop when you can and measure them up so you get the right size. Because even whippets are all different sizes. Rosie will be a small whippet compared to Louis. Are you ready? She will literally walk to my side, walk to wheel all the time. She's a bit over interested in the camera at the moment. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. And of course, Louis just wants to chase his ball. This was really nice to see. Louis' favourite toy is that ball on a piece of string. And when Rosie takes it off him, he just lets her have it. Would I recommend getting a whippy puppy? Definitely, yes. We've always had rescue dogs and uh, always thought there was enough dogs in the world but uh, as I previously said we couldn't find a rescue dog when we was looking for another one. So uh, we went for a puppy and uh, all the challenges that can potentially come with that but it was absolutely fine. Absolutely great fun. But like any dog, one dog or two dogs, having one dog is definitely easier. Having two, it's obviously more expensive, twice the cost. But it, I suppose it depends on your lifestyle and where you live and how much time you can commit to your dogs. We're lucky enough that we've moved up here. Endless amounts of walks and we love walking and we spend nearly every hour of every day with our dogs. And we love our dogs. And I think you've got to really before you uh, consider getting one. It's not just a toy. It's not just something you can uh, use now and again. It's something you have to commit to. I suppose it's very similar to having a child. But they're always dependent on you, like, uh, unlike children. Children grow up and look after themselves. Dogs do to a certain extent, but they still need looking after. You can only leave them for four or five hours a day, really, if you have to. But uh, we're fortunate that uh, we can spend as much time as we like with them, really. And that tends to be all the time. So if they're not with me, they're with Joe, and if they get left, they get left for the very maximum three or four hours. But definitely so intelligent how Rosie is. I presume she's just a normal whippet puppy. She's undoubtedly learned stuff from Louie, which has helped. But uh, all these videos and all these things you say about training dogs, I didn't really need any of them with Rosie. It was so easy. Remember how it started I was lost in a dream When the fire in 
my heart said an open rose. Oh, oh. 